All right, so I'm trying out a new light I got for Christmas from a family secret Santa, and um, I figured I would also show off some double-edged knives, some of my favorite double-edged knives. All right, uh, I also have a kind of a new camera setup. I'm trying it all out, so let's see. Uh, this here is the Cold Steel Taipan. This was a knife that I wanted ever since it was released years and years ago, but I could, couldn't afford it at first and then just didn't bother after a while and then finally got one uh, not too long ago. I love the sweep of the blades. I love the uh, bellied edges. I love that they are deeply hollow ground. I like the bellied edge because it means this is good for more than just thrusting and puncturing. It's good for slashing and slicing and swiping, etc., etc. So that here, that is the uh, Taipan by Cold Steel. And uh, I'm not sure if I need to do that with this camera to get it to focus. We'll find out. It comes in a Securex sheath. And then I have my own little sort of in the waistband kind of thing. I never carry it in the waistband unless I'm home. Uh, and usually, even then, I don't. Okay, second up, uh, this is a cool one. This is from Topps Knives. Uh, from designer Lacey Zabo. Lacey Zabo, former uh, Marine and uh, police officer, also martial artist, does these amazing, very interesting uh, fighting knives and tactical style knives. He did the felony stop for Topps Knives, a small double-edged uh, pistol grip kind of dagger. Uh, this is the Express, and it is... Uh, Fits the hand beautifully. It's 154 cm. Wait. You know what? I think this might be 1095. Oftentimes, uh, Tops will use 154 cm for smaller self defense knives that are going to ride closer to the skin, uh, like the Rapid Strike. But in this case, uh, I'm pretty sure for the Zabo Express, Tops used uh, Cerakoted 29, um, 1095. Anyway, you can get it single-edged or double-edged, of course. I chose the double-edged. My car to handle scales, a sweet, sweet fighting knife uh, style. I like to hold this upside down. I like because you can see the difference between a uh, dagger and a fighter almost better when you hold them upside down. Because when you hold them upside down, you don't see the, um, you see that they're not symmetrical a little bit more easily. At least I do. Okay, next up is uh, a Spartan Blades knife from designed by Les George, and this is his take on the Marine Raider dagger. Beautiful uh, double edged um, uh, flat ground, very uh, stabby. This is definitely a the kind you hold like this and then pull the guy into you, as the old uh, British commandos used to do. Uh, very, very nice knife. Uh, the, the original Marine Raider dagger uh, had a lot of issues because of the materials it was made out of and how fine the blades are and how fine the points are. Oftentimes they were uh, dulled uh, at the outset and kind of sh like uh, sharpened on top but a flat top instead of like more like a screwdriver than a really pointy dagger because it was kind of assumed that that point was going to come off anyway. Um, really beautiful, beautiful knife, beautiful dagger, well made by Spartan Blades. This is a Taiwanese production. Uh, next, also from Spartan Blades, this one from this one from Bill Harsey, <laughs> and also wearing the Chattanooga leather uh, sheath, really nice sheath. You can, by the way, remove this belt loop off and uh, stash it in your waistband if you're a total badass. But this is the uh, the uh, Spartan Harsey dagger. Now those uh, bevels are hollow ground, and man, this is really super, super pointy and very strong. It's got a medial ridge well, let's see right there it's got a medial ridge going right down the center keeping it nice and thick uh up to about here this is the smallest of of the daggers i'm showing here 
and uh, probably the most wieldable and um, most realistic, maybe the one you would want the most in battle because it's small. I don't mean battle like battle, I mean like if you were actually in a knife duel or fight or something like that. I think smaller might be better because it can move easier unless you're way out at distance. Uh, but if you come in close, which is what's going to happen in this theoretical knife fight, you might want something a little bit smaller so you can kind of get around. Um, that's all theoretical. Based on nothing. All right, uh, Wasp Wasted. Uh, you can pinch it right there. It's got really nice jimping there. And uh, man, this thing is awesome. Is it focusing? I can't tell, man. I can't tell. All right, we'll see. We'll see how this all works out. All right, uh, second to last, this is the Medium Fighter. This is a custom from uh, Attention to Detail Mercantile. Let's see, let's see. Does it focus if I come up close? Come on now. It doesn't, does it? This is all out of focus. God damn. All right, we'll see. Attention to Detail Mercantile Medium Folder. See that bayonet grind? I had him double edge it, Douglas Esposito. Uh, had this one made with the beautiful, um, what do you call it, uh, tortoise shell there, and uh, a, a crowned spine, very nice jimping, uh, S35 VN, um, black coating. This thing, uh, if you really did have to fight with a knife, this would be an amazing one. It's perfect size at about five and a half inches, double-edged, very comfortable, ergonomic, Classy. Look at that. Look at that. You'll be the top of your assassin class. And uh, yeah, really dig this one. All right, very last one here. Great Dagger. Uh, I like to show this one off a lot. This is the uh, Model 2 uh, 7 inch combat stiletto from Randall Knives. Randall made knives. Let's see if this will come into focus. Um, Again, exquisitely ground. You've got uh, hollow ground bevels here, very slightly hollow ground, but a nice sweep, a nice uh, belly on those edges for slashing and, you know, uh, not just point stabbing, not just thrusting and stuff. Uh, so uh, this one has very nice quillions here, big brass quillions and that Coke bottle shape again. This is the commando shape. Handle, aluminum butt cap with the uh, with the screw there, or the nut, and just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Love Randall made knives. I don't deserve them, but I have two of them, and I love them. I take good care of them. All right, everybody, thanks for coming along this experiment with me, checking out this camera and that light and this distance and these, I'm not seeing anything, so. Uh, I'll have to review this, but uh, double-edged blades, I love them. Don't leave your double-edged blades unattended to just because you're not allowed to carry them. All right, thank you.